I call um, oh, <coughs> Keith Locke. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Chairman. Uh, my uh, colleague, uh, Honey Hardaware, and myself have been talking in the media about the possibility of helping this government, uh, perhaps uh, going to uh, Fiji on a little trip to talk in our own very humble way to the different political forces there about a transition to democracy. But uh, I'm having second thoughts now because uh, one of the people I'd have to talk to and would have to handle this very gently is a chap called Commodore Baini Marama. And I'm a bit worried that if I went and talked <coughs> to him now, what the first thing he would do, would he would say, look, you have a fantastic government over there. They have just provided me the blueprint for exactly where I want to go. <laughs> and this is the local government reorganisation, Auckland reorganisation bill. And he would then point me out to uh, Clause 13.1GV, where uh, this body, a body set up by the Commodore, or in our case the equivalent of the Commodore here, uh, Mr Rodney Hyde, uh, and this body can review any item on the agenda of any committee of a local body. And the Commodore would say that's fantastic because that would mean every little committee in Fiji, and we've got 3,200 military people, we can easily monitor the agenda items of all these bodies. Uh, we could get put on the agenda things like having a picture of the Commodore in, hanging up in every public building in Fiji. That would be a great agenda item. Or perhaps in our case, a picture of Rodney High. Um, yeah, and, and I think the parallel was there because the Commodore say, look, with only, well, it's actually got a big armed force, with 3,200 people armed with guns, we've taken over a country of seven, 750. And then uh, we could, uh, that Rodney Hyde, with only 3 point something percent of the vote, seems to be taking over all the local bodies uh, of New Zealand. And then Commodore Baini Marama would then point out this next provision here, 13.1e, that uh, he and his little group, his appointed group under this bill, uh, only has to provide to the public information as it thinks fit. And he would say, well, yeah, we can do that a bit more, although we're do it really doing it ourselves. We've just started up our own, we're starting up our own TV station and making sure the local papers have pages that we provide the copy for, and you could go down that track there with your special committee as well. It might add a little bit to the 750 debt, but there's this great democracy called China that could provide the money for this for you uh, uh, at a, a reasonable rate. So that's uh, my concern, that this uh, bill is providing a, a blueprint, uh, it is, uh, uh, I think, uh, moving slightly in the wrong direction. And I, I'm, one of the reasons I'm worried about uh, going to see Commodore Bainamarama, he said, look, you Greens, you might be a little bit uh, into this negotiations and, and democracy and all that sort of stuff. We, we want to go with where the New Zealand government's going. We're very worried about Sue Kedgley. She's moving these amendments, I understand, uh, that are going to strip away these powers, the sorts of powers that we see as a model for our rule in Fiji today. Uh, but uh, I think uh, the good people of New Zealand who are a bit worried about where we're going tonight uh, with this uh, bill uh, and are very worried about where Commodore Baini Marama is taking his people and the, uh, uh, the influence that uh, might have on the Pacific uh, will be uh, very concerned and hopefully will be uh, ringing up tonight the members of the National Party and the ACT Party and saying please support Sue Kesley's amendments. We don't want a Baini Marama type government for Auckland. Um, and uh, it, uh, it's interesting too that with the constitution of Fiji, uh, and there's some good elements possibly to Mr Commodore Bainamarama's proposal, but he's trying to strip away any indigenous representation uh, in that country, which has a few parallels with the uh, Auckland local body approach where all of the uh, recommended uh, seats for the tangata whenua are now being uh, cancelled by this proposal. 
So uh, the Green Party just appeals with the, the Green Party has a whole pile of amendments to try and make this bill Chairman, at least. Chairman, Chairman, Chairman. I call Clayton Cosgrove. Mr Chairman, it is a, 